India and Russia's defense ties have been the backbone of strategic cooperation for decades, producing some of the most advanced military platforms in service today. From the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile to the S-400 air defense system, this partnership has consistently reshaped India's military capabilities. Now, in a major development, India is exploring the acquisition of the S-500, one of the world's most advanced air defense systems, through a government-to-government, G2G, deal with Moscow. According to sources, New Delhi has formally initiated discussions with Russia for the procurement of the S-500 system, with an offer that goes beyond a simple sale. Russia has included provisions for co-production and full transfer of technology, aligning perfectly with India's Make in India initiative and long-term goal of self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Developed by Almazaniye, the S-500 is designed to counter an extensive spectrum of aerial and space threats. From stealth fighters like the F-22 and F-35 to hypersonic missiles, UAVs, ICBMs, and even low-Earth orbit satellites. With an interception range of up to 600 kilometers and altitude coverage reaching 200 kilometers, it significantly outperforms the S-400 currently operated by India. It can track and neutralize up to 10 hypersonic or ballistic targets moving at speeds up to Mach 20, 7 km per second. It employs both blast fragmentation warheads, up to 400 km, and hit-to-kill interceptors, 500 to 600 km, for maximum versatility, including anti-satellite missions. It features advanced S-band acquisition radars, space-fed phased arrays, and multi-mode ABM engagement radars, optimized for detecting stealth targets. India currently operates five S-400 batteries, which proved critical during Operation Sindor 2025, encountering aerial threats from Pakistan and China. The addition of the S-500 would mark a quantum leap in India's air defense shield, providing coverage against emerging hypersonic and space-based threats. The cost of an S-500 battery, comprising launchers, radar, command units, and missiles, is estimated at $700 to $800 million, while a full system could reach up to $2.5 billion as of 2023. However, if India moves forward with local production under the G2G deal, costs could be significantly reduced. The potential collaboration would involve Indian defense organizations, such as BL and DRDO, fostering indigenous research, technology access, job creation, and a stronger domestic defense ecosystem. The next few years will be decisive in shaping India's long-term air defense strategy. Should the G2G negotiations succeed, India would not only gain one of the most advanced missile defense systems in the world, but also strengthen its role as a defense manufacturing hub. The S-500 could become the cornerstone of India's future multi-layered air defense architecture, ensuring protection against next-generation aerial threats and solidifying its position as a global power in aerospace defense. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about Russia's S-500 air defense system in the comment section. Introducing Jetline Marvel's first ever aircraft encyclopedia, a must-have for aviation enthusiasts. Dive into a world filled with stunning images and fascinating details about the most iconic commercial and fighter aircraft. Explore the skies from the comfort of your home with this exciting collection, now available on Amazon.